Hello and welcome back to Going Medieval, our settlement of Purton Hall. We are making some progress. We're midwinter at the moment, but we are trying to uh, finish building out our basement down here. Uh, we're doing a pretty good job there, and we're trying to expand our research. We've made some decent progress overall. We have armor up and running. We're making mail armor and helmets. Uh, as a matter of fact, Christine is now officially wearing some of our own uh, home-crafted stuff. So that is definitely kind of nice. Uh, we are putting in some, some time here. Missa is uh, getting it done. Smithing is up to 15 now. So she's uh, continuing to work along there. We are uh, also making some bricks on, on the side here. Right now, we're not really doing much of anything with iron and steel, but we are smelting some of the garbage stuff. Uh, so at least there's that. We did trade for some chickens, and we do have a male and female, so we'll see if there's any sort of like reproduction cycle in here. I'm not 100% sure if there is or is not. Um... We are working on building an advanced research table, but we need some metal uh, gears for that. We can't get that until we have smithing 20, so hopefully Missa continues to progress on her skills here. She's not that far away, only four more levels to go, so that should be fine. I would like to trade some more animals. So I am going to, I think, send out another caravan once everybody wakes up and eats and all that good stuff. There's not that much left to do in the winter here, so. Um, we are getting close to training the dog. So that's good. Uh, I don't think I need to train the chicken. And, you know, I, I really don't need to train the cat all, but I was trying to train it just to gain some skill. Uh, the cattle is no longer in the list here, so did we manage to train it and put it here? Yes, we did. So we do have a female cattle as well. So, well, I guess we'll see in both of those situations if there is a uh, like a breeding functionality here. Yep, train 71. So that is slowly but surely working its way up. Uh, what's going on with you, Duncan? You seem unhappy. Uh, is it a lack of alcohol, a lack of entertainment? Well, I mean, that's up to you. You can do whatever you want to do entertaining-wise. I guess I could just mark this for anything, and they could just go do whatever they want. I don't want to restrict them like that. Probably not that efficient anyway. They're probably screw, screwing up what they're doing in either scenario. How is our archery skill? You got good marksman. And you're okay. You're terrible. You're terrible. You're terrible. And you're good. So we have two actually good marksmen that ultimately I think we're going to try to get crossbows up and running for. Um, I think we have carpentry 20. Let's do this until we have four. I need mechanical components. Which, again, I can't do right now. Why are you doing smithing? I don't want you to do smithing. Yikes. Alright, well, a cold snap in the middle of winter isn't exactly the worst thing in the world. Missa is the person that should be doing the smithing. So my preference is that 
she work on that instead of this? Why are you doing smithing? You don't have any smithing skill. Well, let's take a look at the jobs, because clearly we have something set kind of wrong here. Okay, you don't need to do smithing at all. You need to do smithing. You need to do smithing. You should never do it. You can maybe do it. You should never do it. You can just because you have... But you should be lower priority. So let's go ahead and see how that goes. Um, we do want these researchers to continue gaining their research skill. They're all very high. Tailoring. You are a good tailor. You are a good tailor. Who has good carpentry? You have decent carpentry. You have good carpentry. So, Missa, you're a good smith and a good carpenter. You're going to be in high demand for crafting. Settlers are becoming annoyed. Why are you annoyed, my friend? Raw meat, desperately thirsty, deprived of entertainment. I mean, that's kind of your fault. Ooh. Okay, so who is our medic? You are. Your medicine, too. All right, let's prioritize tending these wounds. That has to do with temperature. It's pretty bad. It's cold inside, too. At least it's less cold inside. Yeah, it's 2.8. The hallway is considered outdoors, which kind of sucks for them. But what's going on with the food? We don't have enough resources for the food, so people are starting to eat raw food. That's definitely a problem. We need to do some hunting. I'm going to start hunting some wolf. I know there's a pretty high chance of retaliation, but I think that's what we need to start doing. The good news is we have armor, so it should be a little more tolerable to deal with. Who's exhausted? Go to sleep, my dude. What are you doing? Okay, you should be going to bed. I don't know what he is doing. Oh, does he not have a bed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, he has a bed. Why is he not sleeping? All right, I'm just going to put him to, like, sleep all the time. And maybe he'll go to bed. Uh, there. Stop with the gathering resources. There's no need for it. You need to get some sleep. At least then your mood will get better. Uh, is anybody hunting? We do have a couple people hunting. It's 
some convalescing is happening as well. All right, Dunstan, we need some food, so get to work. He is getting uh, bitten by this wolf, but it looks like we're going to even just melee, melee it to death. So I don't understand why we're not hauling. We should, yeah, we should, we should be hauling this stuff to the stockpile. Apparently nobody is taking the time to haul and harvest. Uh, whoa. Acton. You are in critical condition. What is going on with you? Bitten face and bitten neck. That is not good. Get him back. He still has blood, but he's losing blood. Uh, I probably should set this back to anything. So that that settler can go, you know, do stuff. Uh, we definitely need to, after getting him in the bed. Uh, why are you not convalescing? All right, Acton, you need to convalesce priority one. And we're going to have to change your hunting to a lower priority. Uh because you are in bad shape. Uh, Missa, you are going to prioritize tending to his wounds because the blood loss is real. And we definitely need to stop that as soon as possible. All right, there he goes. He's tended to. So that should at least help for the time being. He almost died. Duncan is kind of moody at the moment, but hopefully he will start feeling better. Uh, all the mead is fermenting right now, it appears. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Okay, so it's all in the process of fermenting, but it is not yet fermented. So that explains why there's just no alcohol ready at the moment. Who is our cook? Because cooking needs to be a thing that's happening. All right, we're going to have to lay off the research and focus on the cooking for a while. All right, you need to run away. Because you are getting bitten, and that is a problem. Your blood is coming back, which is good. All right, miscellent, you need to priority convalesce. No. Your priority is set to convalesce. Okay, there you go. Missa, you need to prioritize tending to this person. And then once you're done there, 
we will have you tend. Well, you don't need to tend to him yet. Um, that's fine. Consciousness should not be an issue. Yeah. All right, so everybody seems like they're going to make a pretty good recovery. Dunstan is unconscious. Hypothermia. You can tend to wounds there as well. It should be warm enough in here. I think all the things are lit, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, it's still a cold snap. Are they... They are wearing winter clothes. It is good enough to be comfortable in it. Okay, we are apparently running low on food reserves, which is quite unfortunate. What is going on with... We started hunting a bunch of animals. Where are all the bodies? Because we should be hauling them in. And butchering them. Because we definitely need to make meals out of this stuff. Uh, who is our... We already looked at who the chef was. It was Christine. Right? So she should be working on... Resource unavailable to deliver. All right, well, at least the cold snap is over. How is there no resources? I thought we killed a ton of animals. Well, we haven't butchered them, which is part of the problem. So... I don't know what she's going to do, but somebody needs to haul all of the dead bodies. I feel like that's just not happening. Okay, Missa, you're tending your wounds. That's good. What you're supposed to be doing. Duncan, I don't know what's up with you. I feel like you're always struggling. You need to go to bed, dude. All right, people are, like, starving to death. But nobody's bothering to haul the corpses of the animals that we killed. So, you know, that's cool. Let's maybe prioritize hauling these bodies to the stockpile. Who can prioritize hauling? Yeah, I'd be annoyed too. So why are you not hauling? That's what I need to know. It's not forbidden. Okay, so, Missalent, you are an intellectual. Your job is to do research. But for the time being, we are going to put you on nothing but hauling. And I want you to haul this to the stockpile. Or this. Literally any animal. So we could butcher it. And they're just not. Just not doing it. They just don't want to do it. Man. I don't know what is going on with that. Uh, we don't want to do this.
So we're like out of food. And obviously the high priority would be to haul everything to stockpile. How's your health? You're still bleeding. But it's not too bad. All right, well, because we have such a... All right, Dunstan, you are also just doing nothing but hauling. If you're able to write, you're able to haul. And we're just going to deal with hauling all this stuff to stockpiles. I got to I got to redo the job scheduling anyway. So, I'm just going to make everybody do hauling all the time. Missa is our resident medical person, so let's take a look here. You need to tend to this person's wounds, and then you need to tend to this person's wounds. Dunstan, your wounds are pretty much gone. They'll be expired in two hours anyway. So nothing really to worry about. There is a lot of hauling that needs to be done, though. So let's focus on getting as much hauling done as possible. The dogs aren't hauling anymore, which is interesting. The goat is the only one hauling, it looks like. But we are pretty much out of... I mean, we have a bunch of red currants, so I'm not sure why they're not at a minimum eating that. Uh, I think we also need to up this to, like, 500. So there's enough, like, brewing <coughs> at any given time. Let's take a look at our research. Not much new there. Are they going to haul this before it decomposes? I'm not sure. So is this, like, this isn't forbidden, right? I don't think so. This is set up for animal carcasses. It is the highest priority setting possible. So I'm not really sure why they're idle. Something seems very not functioning properly here. Because we have bodies that should be available to haul in and cook. But for some reason we can't. So what would happen if we just expand the stockpile? Or what, what would happen if we made another stockpile? And we had that set to like everything. And then we said, let's butcher that stuff. It's technically in a stockpile, right? Um, oh, is the issue that they physically cannot reach it? Was that the problem all along? This seems strange. How is that not considered a stable structure? Okay. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense, right?
Uh, we probably need to prioritize. Yep, looks like he's going about doing it. Wow, okay, so that was the problem all along. Was that it just, they had no access to it. Well, that's certainly frustrating. And there we go. So that was all for nothing. <laughs> Let's get the stockpile uh, appropriately designated. There they are. Now they're actually falling to the stockpile. Now oh, that one little spot hosed everything up. They weren't able to cook. They weren't able to butcher. They weren't able to do anything. Is this still considered a kitchen is a question I have. It is not. So why is it not considered a kitchen? Is it because there is a hole in the roof? Maybe. All right, we do have that. Properly hauling now, so that's good. Uh, cooking priority is highest on you. Let's lower your gardening to nothing. Get you working on prioritize butchering. Because we are going to need that meat available. All right, let's go up a floor. Looks like we've got a small hole here. We can probably patch that. Will that be considered a room then once that roof goes on? I'm hoping the answer is yes, but I'm not 100% confident. How is Christine doing mood-wise for... She is kind of running out of uh, sleep. All right, so Oscar built that. It's still not considered a kitchen, it doesn't look like. Let's take a look and try to figure out why. My guess is we probably have to relocate this to somewhere else. Because technically that is not part of what is considered a kitchen. So we'll move it over there. Right? Because kitchen is stove, pottery shelf, pottery shelf, butchering table. Let's take a look at the pottery shelf. Are we missing a pottery shelf? Is that the problem? Nope. It was that. Okay, so that is considered a kitchen now. Which is good, because that means... That's the wrong button. That means we are getting a speed production, 144%. That should drastically increase the uh, performance of the activities on these things. All right, so we do actually have uh, some food chopping taking place now. I should probably prioritize cooking some food. All right, let's take a look at our job schedule and fix that up. I do want you to handle mining when is convenient. You can be a backup cook because you have talent in that. I want you high priority research, low priority hauling and stewardship. 
And I don't even need to flag you for these other things because, well, we can do cut plants on you. That could be a priority four. Animal handling, you are pretty good at. I should put high priority for that. Harvesting and growing can be threes. And then convalesce is always a one. You don't need to tend. You don't need to hunt. You don't need to construct. All right, Florence, you are an intellectual with good speech craft. Your highest priority is research. You don't need a tailor. You don't need the carpenter. You don't need the smith. You don't need to craft. I think everybody should have some skin in the game when it comes to um, cutting plants. So I think it's worth still having that. Low priority on that. You don't need to hunt. You don't... I mean, you could do low priority medicine. And everybody should be priority one convalesce. Because, like, if you're injured, that should be, like, number one priority. You don't need to tend. Alright, so you want pretty high construction. Want pretty high growing on you. And harvesting and cutting of plants. You have the skill to mine, but I don't think it's important. We have other people who will do the mining. Uh, animal handling, you're not that great at. Cooking, you're not that great at. Smithing, you're pretty terrible. I'll put you very low priority just because you have a one star in it. Uh, you are a good researcher. We could put you priority two for that. And I think we leave you priority one for hauling. Because in the winter, you can be primarily a hauler because there's not a lot of growing and harvesting to do. I think we leave the rest like that for the time being. All right, Christine, did you just spend all of that time just trying to haul enough material up to do... Oh, you're doing the mead. Okay. okay. Now you're going to eat. There at least appears to be food available now, so that's good. All right, well, that's probably a good spot to put the cut in for today. I don't think we made that much progress necessarily, but... We did fix a problem or two with our uh, settlement, and I think um, that does leave us in a pretty good spot to put the cut in. Everybody is tended up. We have uh, plenty of meat and uh, red currants available, and we're going into the spring now, so it's a good uh, transitionary spot. Thank you for watching. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.